Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain coaxial cable capacitor with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first I'll explain structure of coaxial cable capacitor. After that, I'll derive equation of capacitance for coaxial cable capacitor. And at last, I will solve one problem based on coaxial cable capacitor. So first of all, let me show the structure of coaxial cable. See in coaxial cable, there are two conductors. There will be inner conductor and there will be outer conductor. Inner conductor and outer conductor that is separated by dielectric material. So you can observe here we have inner conductor, right? And here we have outer conductor. First of all, you need to understand dimensions of coaxial cable capacitor. See inner conductor, let us say this inner conductor is having radius small a and this outer conductor, let us say that is having radius small b. Here we are considering length of this coaxial cable that is L. And by considering these notations, we will derive equation of capacitance for given coaxial cable. So here we have inner conductor with radius small a, outer conductor that is having radius small b and length of coaxial cable that is L. So here I will be following same process which I have followed in my last video. One should know capacitance that is denoted by C. And what is capacitance? Capacitance C that is equals to charge divided by voltage. So here I'll explain you how to identify charge and voltage and based on that we can derive equation of capacitance C for coaxial cable. Here we will be considering line charge with inner conductor. So inner conductor is line charge that is what we are considering over here. And see if I say inner conductor that is having negative charge over here, right? and outer conductor let us say that is having positive charge over here then using q by v i will derive equation of capacitance see here we are considering inner conductor that is line charge so based on line charge first of all you need to identify how much total charge that is there with line so total charge is capital q and based on line charge, total charge is line charge into length, here length is L, right. Now I'll explain you how to identify potential. See potential is voltage V. So voltage that one can identify based on electric field. One should know voltage is minus of line integration of electric field. Voltage is minus of line integration of electric field. So first of all, you need to understand what is electric field over here, right? So here, see here you consider this cross section that is available over here, but here too much data is available. So I'll show you electric field over here, right? So here, if you observe the direction of electric field, then see it will be having direction from positive charge to negative charge like this you can observe electric field direction that will be there from positive charge to negative charge right it will be happening like this here see this electric field that is happening because of line charge rho l so one should know the basic equation of electric field due to line charge i have already derived electric field due to line charge what is that that is E is equals to rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon naught R where R is radial distance and here we will be considering it as a negative value. Why the reason is here we are considering inner conductor which is line charge that is having negative charge. So here I am placing negative sign over here and if you want direction of electric field then that direction of electric field that is there in radial direction, right? Now you need to understand what is DL. 
So here DL that is radial DL, right? So if you want to understand what is DL, then here DL is DR and it is there in radial direction, right? So now what I'll do is I'll place DL and electric field in this equation of voltage. V is minus of integration EDL where this E that is minus of rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon naught R in the radial direction and dot DL is there. So DL that is dr in the radial direction so here minus minus that is getting plus and if you observe this dr where r is ranging from small radius a to radius b right so here r is ranging from a to b so radial direction that is having range from small a to small b where small a is radius of inner conductor and small b is radius of outer conductor right now here minus minus that is getting plus rho l divided by 2 pi epsilon naught that is constant and we need to integrate this with respect to 1 by r right and r dot r that is 1 so here see integration of 1 by r that is ln r where limit is there from a to b if you substitute the limit then here we have ln b minus ln a and one should know what is ln b minus ln a that is ln b by a right so that is what potential so now we have potential we have charge so we can substitute that in this equation of capacitance c so let us say this is equation a let us say this is equation one and let us say this is equation two so what we will be doing is we will be placing equation one and equation two in equation a so equation a is capacitance is charge by voltage what is charge charge is rho l into l right so charge is rho l into l divided by voltage voltage is rho l by 2 epsilon naught into ln b by a let us simplify this so here rho l that is getting cancelled and see this 2 pi epsilon naught that will go in numerator into l divided by ln b by a so this is what capacitance due to coaxial cable right so this is what the basic standard process that you should follow to derive equation of capacitance for coaxial cable it is 2 pi epsilon naught l divided by ln b by a now i'll explain you one simple problem based on calculation of capacitance due to coaxial cable so here see in question if the inner radius of coaxial cable that is 1 mm so here inner radius is small a that is given 1 mm 1 mm means 10 to the power minus 3 meter and outer radius is 3 mm so outer radius is b that is 3 mm means it is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter here dielectric material is having dielectric constant 4.5 so epsilon r that is 4.5 then calculate capacitance per unit length so capacitance per unit length that we need to find means c by l that we need to find right so i have explained you the calculation of capacitance capacitance is 2 pi epsilon naught l divided by ln b by a so here what we will be doing is we will be identifying c by l so c divided by l that we will be calculating and here you see 2 pi epsilon naught that is there and here we have considered air as a dielectric medium over here in between inner conductor and outer conductor but if you have dielectric material with dielectric constant epsilon r then you will be having this equation as a modified equation that will be 2 pi epsilon naught epsilon r l divided by 
ln b by a right so now let us take the data so here c divided by l that is 2 pi epsilon naught epsilon r divided by ln b by a now let us place the data 2 pi into epsilon naught that is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 epsilon r that is given that is 4.5 over here divided by ln b by a so b is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by a that is 10 to the power minus 3 so ln b by a that is 3 over here you just need to solve this in calculator you will be getting capacitance per unit length let me check my answer over here that is 0 0.27 into 10 to the power minus 9 faraday and you can represent this in form of nano faraday it will be 0 0.27 nano faraday right so that is how simply we can solve the problem as well as we can derive equation due to coaxial cable i hope now you are having any idea about how we can have calculation of capacitance due to coaxial cable still if anything i'd like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video